Yo, what up guys? Welcome to your one-stop shop for cops. This is Kevin and today I kind of wanted to go over some sneaker news slash sort of tell a story to you guys because I have had so many mishaps with my sneakers and I wanted to share it with you guys so maybe you guys can learn and not ruin your sneakers as well. First, I wanted to share that one of my idols and kind of like heroes, uh, Timothy De La Ghetto, signed with Reebok. So he was kind of hinting in a few pictures and videos that he was signing with Reebok because um, he would have the Reebok classics on and he would only rock those Reebok shoes and may, I don't know, maybe in this ne next season of Wild and Out he's going to wear some Reebok shoes. Um, but yeah, he's only wearing the classics pretty much just like the white with the gum bottoms, the black with the gum bottoms. and. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool because you see all of these celebrities like um, Rock and Reebok and you finally get to see uh, one of your like smaller celebrities such like uh, B-list celebrity. I don't know how, how celebrities are classified, but yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that um, one of these celebrities is finally Rock and Reebok and he also went shopping with his fiance Chia um, to test out um, how he would style his Reebok classics. It's really cool to me to see these shoe brands uh, not just collaborate with people like um, fashion icons and A-list celebrities, but to be able to reach into the YouTube influencer community. He's on TV, he's in movies, he's in his own YouTube channel, so it's really just diverse his interests in this uh, world driven by media. But you probably came here for the thumbnail and the title saying like, I've ruined my classic leathers. And that's kind of true, but these splits are absolutely ruined because the suede is totally gone. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, this is pretty tough to tell like the difference between the suede when you rub it back and forth, which is pretty much the only reason why anyone buys suede or leaves me. But yeah, I ruined the suede on those sneakers and I really just think it's because I didn't know anything about the sneakers at the time. So I actually ruined these sneakers the second time I wore them. I wore them to like class one time and then I went into an interview in Philadelphia and it was in March so it was right after my birthday so I was feeling pretty happy about myself and I was like, you know, I might just stunt on Philadelphia using my classic leathers and I decided to, yeah, but um, the problem is that Philadelphia, in Philadelphia it rains all the time, which is something that I didn't know. And I also didn't know that suede was incompatib incompatible with water. Um, something else is that uh, Reebok Classics are some of the only shoes uh, nowadays that real that use uh, real suede. And that, and I didn't even protect the suede using any sort of like shoe protector or anything. Something that I learned from that experience is that you really don't want to use untreated suede in water. And um, I think that there are other types of suede such as like those that's, that's like the suede that's used in Timberlands and with that suede you can bring it into water because it's waterproof but with Reebok Classics don't bring them in I totally ruined my shoes. I think I'll still be rocking these classic leathers because uh, I don't think anyone can really tell from afar if your suede is like nappy or if it's just totally dead or not. Um, so I'm just going to keep on rocking them. I mean, I'm not going to waste a good pair of shoes, especially after the second time I wore them. Actually, I'm really enjoying these shoes um, as of lately because ugh, with some some people really dislike creasing on the toe box. Um, I, I really like uh, a little bit of creasing because it adds... Some people say it adds character, but then the other camp says it looks terrible. So um, it has like this really minimal creasing that tells you, hey, it's it's worn in a little bit, but it's not worn out. But anyway guys, I hope this teaches you to kind of like look up your materials in your shoes before you wear them too much because I know that I t was totally blown uh, when I ruined the suede on these sneakers after wearing them for one time. I got this blotch on the midsole of my sneakers that was about here um, and I really couldn't get it off using my conventional methods using like maybe some hand soap and some a toothbrush or uh, I also like using paper towels. I like using paper towels for a quick wipe. Um, and, but nothing got it off, but I remembered that one of my classmates, um, if you're watching Sam, shout outs to you, um, but one of my classmates told me that you can use um, simple toothpaste and your toothbrush and kind of just give it the old dental cleaning and it worked out and I didn't, I made sure not to touch the suede on my shoes because I would ruin it even further. No one's going to say what are those if they're just like clean um, and that's what nowadays just go sleek and go clean or go home. Anyway guys, thank you for watching your one-stop shop for cops. I kind of hope this helped you uh, be able to tell what kind of 
um, materials on your shoes you shouldn't bring out into the elements. And I know today, uh, for me at least, it's a really it's a really rainy day and it's a little bit uh, gloomy and dark outside. So don't bring your classic leathers out today unless they don't have suede on them. Alright, see ya.